up guys today I'm going to be learning you guys how to edit a Photoshop banner so that you can put your own name there and other stuff like that so first of all you get yourself you go on like a video top 10 banners or something you find yourself a banner that you like and you download the Photoshop template so then you're probably gonna have something similar to this it's gonna say something something dot PSD uh, that is the Photoshop file, you can only open it with Photoshop and that's exactly what we're gonna do. So what you do right now, you right click, you go to open with, then go to Photoshop. And if you already have Photoshop open, well then what you do now, you go to file, open, and you find the file you, you need. Which in this case is this, this is what I'm gonna use to show off how to change your name and everything like that. So now what you simply do, you have to find the text where you're gonna change it. And in most cases, it's gonna show up danger signs or like warning signs. Um, the reason for this is that you don't have the font needed for this text. It's really simple to fix, so there's no problem with that. But what you simply do now, you go to the text tool at the side here, you go to um, one of the text things here and you click on it now it's gonna show up something like this it's gonna show up a font name which in this case is Burbank Big Condensed Black so what I simply do now is I go to Google and I write this exactly what it says here in your case you're not gonna write the exact same thing as I am unless you're doing the exact same banner as me but for most cases you're likely gonna have another font you add font at the end and then you press enter. So now after you've searched that, uh, you click often on the first one, though be sure that it is the first one, be sure that it's the exact same name. Here it says the exact same name, like there, and you press download. Uh, then it's gonna give you something similar to this, or it might give you a zip file, but anyway, in the zip file, you're gonna find a file that is OTF or TTF. You press it, and this open, opens up. Now you press install. And now you have the font in your computer and now you can use it in Photoshop. So now you go back to Photoshop and you press OK. And now as you can see nothing changed with the text because now I have the font. So now it's gonna be fine. If you don't have the font it's gonna change to another random font you have which isn't gonna be specifically good. I go to the name one and do the exact same thing. So now we have to change what it says on there because we don't, my name isn't your name, like literally. Um, my name is in this case, quirk says, and well, just for the fun of it, not because I actually have this, but I'm gonna write gaming. I don't actually use that, but it's just, it shows me too, and I want to show you guys a good way of doing this. So. Um, now it looks pretty good. So now I've changed what it says here, and well, it works really fine. Um, there's also these at the side, so also think about that. I think there's some somewhere in another place, but that doesn't really matter. But now the thing is, I want to change something with this. I feel like this text is too big. It's not really in the right place, and it's kind of getting covered up, and I don't really see what it says. It kind of looks like that's an O instead of a Q which isn't specifically good. So, what do I do? Hold, control, and press T. And now it's gonna show up a box around your font. What you now can do is move this around, however much you want, and you can put it anywhere you want. And But that's not the only thing you can do now. Also, if you hold shift, and then drag on the side here, you can make it bigger or smaller, which in this case I want to make it a little bit smaller, and put it around somewhere right here. You can also by having your cursor at the top of it rotate it like this. So in this case I want to have it like this. And now you can see um, exactly what it says here. And it's looking good. So now, I got that out of the way, so now we have a functioning banner you can put on your YouTube or use for really anything you want. There isn't really that much more to it, this is pretty much 
as it goes. Obviously you can change things in this, but then you would actually need to know how to actually make a banner in the first place. So, um, for the most part this is the only thing you would really change. Unless you would maybe want to change some colors or anything like that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This video edit banners for your YouTube channel or really any kind of banner. You can change this for Twitter, for anything where you have a Photoshop file. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you, if this helps you in any way, please like the video. If it by any means didn't help you, well then dislike, write in the comments what I didn't show and maybe um, something that I missed. That would be great, and maybe I'll do another one if there is any real problems with this again. Oh, and yeah, join our Discord. We have right now quite a lot of people there, and not so long ago we hit 800 subscribers. Actually, when I say not so long ago, I mean today. We literally today hit 800 subscribers, which I'm really happy about. This is something I could have never thought would actually happen. So, thank you all, and I'll likely be doing a giveaway soon, so also subscribe. And well, tell me in the comments if you need anything, if you want anything, need help with anything, and I can help you guys. So, yeah, bye.